They love him because he is so big at 6'4". Look at that size. His shot rolls off the rim. But Kevin Galley on the offensive glass gets his own rebound. Fighting with defenders. He is hacked. These guys getting this experience, a three-game series on national TV. Well, it's great for a number of reasons. It establishes them moving forward to get opportunities this summer. The Houston Rockets, he, they played their season finale, and then he got in the car and drove to be able to play that's the next night here for the Vipers. Jack Harrison on the breakout. We are all tied up at four apiece. Proved his three-point shooting. Yes, he's a big man. Yes, they want him to roll to the rim. But he can step out and knock down the three. But Fee's always had that, that ability to be able to shoot the basketball. Give credit to the G League Defensive Player of the Year, Shaquille Harrison, getting back and bothering that layup. And it turns into a five-point swing because he's planning on being here for a while. He's planning on winning a G League championship. So he wanted to make sure he had some transportation to get back and forth to the game. McCaw's third attempt is good. But would much prefer to put the pressure on the defense at the rim. Nick's trying to go one on two. Has that stripped away. Shaq Harrison on the breakout. He's got Springer running with him. Up against Kevin Kelly and he finishes strong. They're not going to be phased by being on the road at all. Foster trying to run the break. Gets his pocket pick. Springer out ahead of the pack. Let's <laughs> be... <laughs> <laughs> and you see the confidence just continues to grow for him shooting the basketball. McCall on the line for that one, but still going to be good for two. It has slowed down the Vipers a little bit. Knicks, a little in and out dribble, stripped away by Shamar Pons. Out ahead of the pack, here's Miles Powell all alone. Lays it in. Over 19 turnovers, forcing over 19 and turnovers Shemar a game. Pons, another steal. Yeah, and this is the way they want to play. They're smaller, so they have to be able to turn the basketball over, turn the defense and the offense on the other end of the floor. When you think about being the last team's playing, playing for a meaningful championship, this is something that, of course, the one thing that everyone wants in their organization is winners. And right now, as Miles Powell, after getting the two easy layups, he gets a well-deserved break. Under seven minutes to play here in the second quarter. Another steal on the breakout. This is Harrison going up against Lamb. And one tough finish. And keep him on a tight leash and make sure that they're playing, you know, tentative. Scared to turn the basketball Ooh. over. Scared to make plays. Powell with the blow by. While Nix was called up to the Houston Rockets. The contact eats it and one. As he goes, gets going downhill, puts the shoulder. Doesn't it seem like Florida State always produces the next big man star? I mean, everybody from Florida State is like 6'8 and up. Here's McCall on the break. Gal laying it in. He had an option to not come back, but he talked about how much fun he had playing with this group of guys and how much he enjoyed his time here. With RGB. He now has 22 on the game. In a two for one scenario, Monet has to recognize Queen is going to pull up just like you have to recognize. That's why there's still TBDs to be determined in the NBA playoffs. In the corner, Harrison rattles in a three. Blue Coats needed that. But I believe we may need to see as Miles Powell checks in to this game as well earlier. We're going to have to see those guys be aggressive on the offensive end. Aaron Henry, he splashes a three. Commitment to both his team and religion during these finals. And David, we all got a treat of his wife Janine's sweet treats. The chocolate dates, baklava, banana nut bread, man. Just the thought of chocolate covered dates, I was already in. And it was even better than advertised. It was a great conversation we had with Coach. He was telling us about how people back home at the Moss Foundation in Bridgeview, Illinois, he had over 1,100 people. You speak about going places. Jason Nick's stock is going up. Now in a standard contract with the Houston Rockets, but putting on here for the Vipers in the G League Finals. McCall ends the run with a three for Delaware. All right, how do the Blue Coats get back in this game right now? They've got to find a way to get some stops just like that. Shaq Harrison, Defensive Player of the Year. That's the way they've gotten to this point. They turned their defense into offense, unable to do it on that possession. Trey Mitchell going one-on-one. -on -one. First attempt blocked. Second attempt is blocked. And there's the stop Delaware needs. Can they convert on this end of the floor? Miles Power, get that out of here! Rejected by Anthony Lamb, but then they come back with a three. And too often we've seen the Blue Coats getting beat back in transition. Too many uncontested layups for the Vipers in this game. He's done the job defensively. He's been a playmaker, but they haven't needed his scoring in this game. Pons extra pass to McCaw. Nails another three for McCaw. 
to Harrison for the two-handed jam. And now Delaware going on a little mini run. Pons thought about it. Extra pass to McCall. Pump fake throws it up at the rim, and Cabin Gelly helps it in the bucket. And McCall making sure he raises his hand to get those two points. <laughs> two months later, they're teammates on so the floor together. If there's anyone who should be getting the dunks of the game, it should be TQ learning that. Pow! With the steal and the jam. Trying to be a little too unselfish can force mistakes. Nice dump off pass. Tomway finishes off the window.